This demo will showcase our Salesforce to Database contact migration template. The migration pattern is the act of moving a large set of data from one system to the other at a point in time. Migrations are critical in any organization that has data operations and most commonly occur during mergers and acquisitions, implementation of new software, migration to a cloud-based environment, and many more. In this video, I will show you an example of an organization that needs to migrate contacts from a Salesforce instance to a database. Right now, let's go ahead and see how it works inside of two different systems. Here, inside of our Salesforce instance, we have a list of contacts that we want to migrate over to our database. Let's start the migration process and see how everything works. This template is triggered via an API call, so it can be used manually or programmatically. All we have to do to make it run is to send a request to a configured HTTP endpoint, and you can see how quickly we will receive a message that the batch process has been initiated. This template is configured, so when the migration process is complete, you will receive an email. As you can see, we already received a message report that the migration process has been completed. Then, when we go back to our database and refresh the table, we will see that the contacts from our Salesforce instance successfully migrated over to our database. Now, let's move from the user experience to AnyPoint Studio, our graphical design environment for the AnyPoint platform, and see what's powering this integration. Here, we see our template, which leverages best practices for integration with Salesforce and makes this integration possible in minutes. This template has already been downloaded from our library, where all of our templates can be found. As we look at the endpoints file, we can see that this integration is triggered via an API call. Then, when we go to the business logic file, we can see that the template uses a batch module to make the act of moving a large set of data easier and more transparent. Here we will find a Salesforce connector that retrieves all records from our Salesforce instance and a database connector that queries contacts from our database to check whether the record from the Salesforce instance exists there. Next, we use Data Mapper to transform that data to match with the database data structure, and then we either update an existing contact or create a new one. The last step that we do, we log a message report and send an email to the address we listed in the configuration file. Now that we know what stands behind this integration, everything we have to do to make it work is to list our Salesforce and database credentials in the properties file and run the application. Today, we've shown you our Salesforce to database contact migration template and migrated contacts from one system to another. To find out more about the template, follow the view documentation link on the template's detail page. Give the template a try, and if you have any questions or feedback, please send it to info at mulesoft.com. Thank you.